Okay, my name is Ross. I'm going to uh, give a brief lesson here on um, firing a boiler and uh, running a steam engine. So the basic parts, are, I'll just uh, go around. There's a whistle and gauge and oilers and things like that. Um, the first thing you got to do is make sure there's enough water in the boiler. Right now I have that much in the boiler right now, which is fine to run it on, but it's uh, best to add a little bit. So I've made up this gadget here that uh, can hook up to a hose and a quick disconnect and it just uh, is easy to do. I can take it off of here and show you. It's just made up of a number of parts. So I'm going to quick disconnect. Then all you do is have the hose and connect it onto there and fill up the boiler. And as you can see, it's filling up quite quickly. And there's a valve here to turn it off. It's nice to have that going for you. So then, um, once you've got enough water in the boiler and you've got oil in the oiler and everything, uh, this part, this is the top blowdown valve on my boilers that I usually remove. It's just eighth inch pipe. And the other thing to check is the oiler itself to see if there's enough oil in it to run it for a while. And I've already got wood and paper in the um, boiler firebox, so it's ready to go. And this is just one type of oiler. There can be there are other types as well. And I've got water for the water pump, just a small amount because I'm just temporarily going to run it. And I have water for the injector right there. Right up. And I use the plastic, clear plastic hoses so I can see the water flow because this valve here it makes a difference where it's adjusted to to make get the water up into the injector go into the and the same thing with the, the water pump water pump down here there's several valves and like this is a like a, a block a valve that helps relieve uh, water blockages and so that needs to be open and closed, but I'll do that later. And then I just basically use kindling and paper to start out with. Also one thing that's really important is to get a good draft. And I use this uh, blower, it's a Dayton blower. Um, it's just common, you can buy them on eBay or buy them right from some other suppliers. And I just have a simple switch on the cord. And so it's running now. And I'm just going to light off the boiler. I need to turn off the switch. Blows out the flame. As it gets going, just turn the switch on. And we'll start pulling a really good draft up through there. The fan is on now. I use wood and I use coal as well, but fur is really good to use. Seems like alder and woods like that smell pretty bad once they get burning. So it's just a matter of closing that off. The gauge here. The whistle is an antique whistle. I didn't make it, but I made almost every part on it except for the gauge. It's 
so it's going to take a while now to uh, get the boiler up to steam. So I'll probably just do a, another video of that. Uh, there is a drain valve here for the boiler. That um, just if you want when in the winter and you don't want to use it just or any time you're not using it, just drain all the water out of the boiler. And that's another interesting thing is these pipes all contain water. And in a cold situation at outside it's going to freeze and break those pipes. So that's kind of important. So you can see the, the blower up here working. You really need that to first fire it up to get it to you know, really You know, steamed up quicker. So if you have a cold boiler, it's best to use it. You can fire it without it, but it just takes a lot longer.